hi welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be showing you how to deploy microsoft teams using group policy you know if you work in an enterprise environment surely you will not want to deploy software to individual computers but you want to deploy the software using a group um, policy of microsoft intune or ssam so to deploy microsoft teams first of all you will need to download the msi files of Microsoft Teams. So I found this website of Microsoft, which I'm going to add this link to this YouTube video. So you can just click on the link and download the video, the um, MSI file of Microsoft Teams directly. So here you see they have four um, links, which of course I'm going to use the, the, the commercial um, one, which is the 64 bit, because um, they actually noted here, if you are using a 64 bit operating system, surely you want to download the 64 bits of Microsoft Teams. So what I'm going to do is just click on the um, 64 bits and you save the file. So I've already saved the file to my um, to my to my server. So of course, if you uh, before you can actually deploy this um, software, you need to um, download it and copy it to your server. So this this uh, Microsoft Teams has been copied to my server, of course, to this folder. Here is it, and surely you want to share this folder which of course i've already shared the folder so it, it will be easy for me to import it to my group policy so here i have my active directory so i have um, an organization unit which of course i just name it notebooks and here you see i have three computers in this organization unit so then i will need to go to my group policy here and for my group policy, so to open your group policy, actually, you need to go to server manager, server manager, and here you have the tools, and here you have group policy. So, okay, and then I go to my um, to my group policy, which I've already opened it, and I go to notebook, here you click create a GPO in this domain and link it here. So you give the GPO a name and link it to the notebook, so which of course I've already done that. So here I've already created a GPO. So which I call the Microsoft Teams install. You can call it any name you actually wish for yourself. So this is just a test environment. So right click on the GPU you just created and click edit. On the edit, go to policies. And here you see you have the software settings. So click software settings. And on the, here you have the software installation. So what I'm going to do, I've already installed actually the, I've already imported the software but i'm going to do it again just to show you how it works so just click new click package and here it's going to ask us for the um folder the shared folder where this file the microsoft team is located so i'm just going to share set for the folder just first of all type the domain domain name and here you, you will see all shared folders we appeared so i have the shared folder which is called teams ms12 and here we have the teams file so click on it and click open so of course this file will be deployed to be assigned to the computers so surely this file will be assigned um, to all computers you can as well click advance if you want to select more options but if you want to select this option to configure the publish or assign option and apply to modification to a package but, but i'm just going to click assigned because i'm just going to assign this uh, application without any modification to the computers so just click ok and the file has been imported and here you can see the file has been imported so we have like now it's giving it a different name uh, different added like a number to two because we have the same file name already imported to this software settings software installation so now right now we're going to just click cancel and what we're going to do right now because as you can see the um, group policy is already linked to these notebooks but before I go further we have some other options which I'm going to just show you because right now you see um, Microsoft also says that we can actually modify our installation or our group policy to make sure that we prevent Microsoft Teams from starting automatically after installation. 
So what I did is also they also give us the policy which can be modified and we say this is recommended because you can turn off or, or turn on the policy that is according to your organization need. So in a situation you may have some um, users who doesn't use Microsoft Teams often and they don't want Microsoft Teams to pop up every time they start their computers. So for them or maybe you can just disable it and individuals can actually just start Microsoft Teams when they need it. And but when you sign in the first time and uh, every single time you log onto your computer and then Microsoft Teams auto off, of course, will auto automatically start with your computer. So if you decided actually to, uh, when you, um, you've, when you've not imported the um, ADMX fe um, feature to your um, group policy, you are not going to see this um, administrative template Microsoft Teams. You may see the administrative template, but you will not see Microsoft Teams. So what I did is, um, I think there's also a link where you can download the ADMX file. Let me see, I think here, yeah, the ADMX file, that is, there's the, there's the link. I'm also going to add this link to this um, video so you can actually just click on it and download the ADMX file. So when I click on this link, it's going to redirect me to here where I can download the file. So I've already downloaded this file to my computer. Okay, let me just click on my uh, Microsoft Teams um, GPI created and let me just show you where the file should be located. So when you go to under users configuration, you go to policies and then you go to administrative templates. So because I've already imported the ADMX file here, you will see that you have like the extra, like the um, other office um, policies, which of course here Microsoft Teams is included. But without me downloading this this file, this file, and then importing it, I, then what I what I did is I go to I downloaded the file first of all, which is the ADMX. Here you can see the ADMX file, and then I here you have the all the you have the teams and all the office. So what I just did, I just decided to import everything to my group policy. So what I did is I go to my here under your Windows size for then you click size folder then your domain name and the other policies here on the policies here you see i created a folder called policy definition and then i copied the admx file to this folder and then what 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 you just need to do is to close the group policy and then start it all over again and then when you open when you click when you edit the policy you created here you have the microsoft teams so on here, Microsoft Teams, you have prevent Microsoft Teams from starting automatically after installation. So we double click on it. So it just enable this. So you have some brief explanation what this policy is going to do. So click OK. And of course, um, this what I just did, this policy is also going to link, it's going, also going to be linked to this organization unit notebooks. So after you've done this policy and the policy has been configured properly so what you just do is this you go to the to any of the computer here you can see i've already this um microsoft teams have already been installed so if for example you've deployed this policy what you just need to do is you go to this um go to the computer that need the policy then you just click cfd And here you type get GP update force to force to force the policy. But if you're working in an enterprise environment, this is a test environment, so I just want to do it to show you how to actually fasten the policy to be um, to be deployed to the um, workstation. But if you are working in an enterprise environment, you don't need to do this. I, I think when the user starts the computer, I think I think after like 90 minutes the policy will be going to take effect and when the user starts the computer the policy of course is going to take effect so right now you can see i've already deployed the microsoft team to this computer so what i just need to do is click on sign in then enter my password click sign in Here you see um, 
and right now I'm signing to Microsoft team so but for a user to be able to use a Microsoft team of course the user will need to have a license to Office 365 here let me just show you an example here's my um, Microsoft 365 admin center so I have my active users and that's the test 3 which of course I already assigned test 3 Office 365 if I license and if I click on my license and apps here we click on the all the different application that is been assigned to the user here you can see that Microsoft Teams is assigned to the user so if you don't if you don't assign the of the office 365 probably e3 or e5 to the user the user will not be able to use Microsoft team so that's how you deployed Microsoft team using group policy so if you think this video has been of any help to you please don't forget to leave a comment or just give me a like and subscribe to my channel to get more IT related video. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video. My name is Kelvin Johnson and I hope you subscribe to my channel and um, I hope to see you next time. Bye.